The add xy or create points from table are amongst the most powerful functions that we have in GIS to go between our tabular data and the creation of spatial data. What we're looking at here are data from the AQS system. This is kind of the capturing of air quality data by different sites in the state of North Carolina. You can see I have 5,611 readings through the state of North Carolina on ozone and particulate matter. I'll post a link to those data in the description for this video, but I ran a summary statistics. And what I had here is the average, the mean, the standard deviation of one of these measures here, the frequency of the number of reading, number of readings by latitude and also longitude. What I wish to do is create data from these so I can make graduated symbol maps or whatever I want to do. And so for this rotation data statistics, I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to go create points from table. This is a little different than previous versions of ArcGIS Pro. And so I'm going to create create points from table and I'm going to do XY table to point. So it'll create a brand new feature class. Right here, you'll see my input table. My output feature class is going to be my rotation data statistics XY tables to point. I'm just going to, my X field is going to be my mean for my longitude. My Y is going to be my site latitude right here. And then I have no Z field. And then my coordinate system is going to be GCS WGS 1984. This is the measurement of latitude and longitude. So this stands for a geographic coordinated system with the World Geodetic Survey measured for 1984. And I'm going to be looking for 22 points right here. So I'm going to run this. And you can see these points that I have right here. So if I were to right, right mouse click, open up my attribute table, now I have a brand new feature class. And you can see they're lined up with the state of North Carolina, where I can create graduated symbol maps by you know, th this mean value here. This is, I think we're looking at PM. We can look at the range of values, standard deviation. So I can map these using my symbol technology here. And real quickly, I'll just go to symbology. I'll go to some of my graduated symbols. And here I'll look at the mean of my concentration. So we can see where, in this case, where my PM is gonna be higher and PM is gonna be lower. Other examples that I have here, this is from Air Max. And so I'll click on this right here. So this is from Air Max. This is uh, Air Max data here. This is from the NW Nath National Weather Service Climate Prediction Center. I'm looking at my Air Max for November 24th, 2024. I've clicked on this and I can right mouse click and save as a text file. So I've brought this text file into my GIS. You can see this text file and I've exported it to a GIS data or export it to a feature data class so it has object IDs and I'll do the same exact thing again. So you can see there's about 8,000 of these here for the entire United States and North America. So I'm going to right mouse click, create points from table, and then my X field is going to be my longitude because even then we say latitude and longitude, we're really saying X, Y, we're really saying when we say latitude, longitude, we're really saying Y, X. So it asks for my Y, where my left and right is going to be my longitude, angular distance east and west of the prime meridian versus our latitude. Once again, I've got my coordinate system because if I were to look at these units, you can see my latitude and my longitude are going to be angular the units right here. These are going to be in degrees. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to add all these points, and you can see here, these are going to be weather stations located throughout most of you know, North America, some in Mexico right here, but largely concentrated here. I'm focused here on North Carolina because I can run a buffer and export all of these out. And so I've added these based on this field called lat and this field called long. Last thing I'm going to look at, and I thought this was interesting, is Durham Police Department, these are calls for service. So if I were to right mouse click and open these up, you can see there's 335,000 of these calls for service in the year 2019. I can geocode these, but this is gonna take up a lot of time. It's also gonna take up a lot of credit. It's gonna cost me a lot of money. So here I have my X and Y. Looking at these, you'll notice these are in latitude and longitude, but these are gonna be in northing and easting using the feet, my feet units for the North Carolina State Plane Projection. So if I were to right mouse click and go to create points from table, I'm going to do the same exact thing. 
So I'm going to go to my X is going to be my X field. My Y is going to be my Y, which essentially represents my northing. My X is my easting. My coordinate system, I'm going to click on, well, it already has NAD 1983 state plane, but I'll click on the globe icon. And you can see I've also has it stored in my favorites, but I can go to projected coordinate systems, state plane, state plane 1983 US feet. And I'm going to go down to North Carolina. So I'm going to click OK because we know right here it's going to stick a zero zero point somewhere down in Alabama. And then everything for the state of North Carolina is going to be in the first quadrant. And it's going to go in geocode, not in this case geocode. It's going to add XY for all 355,000 of these points. So I'm going to click OK. And this is going to be really quick compared to geocoding. So these are all the calls for service for the Durham Police Department in the year 2019. We have more than 355,000 of these. And it's going to run these really quickly. See, it's just finishing up here. It gives me a slight error right here because it told me that I, didn't, I had some null geometry. That's OK. But look what I have. Now I'm going to zoom in to Durham. We're looking at more than 300,000 of these points for Durham Police uh, Durham Police Department for the different various calls for service based on this X and Y. So in conclusion, the create points from table, or sometimes they use the term add X, Y, is a powerful tool so that we can create tabular data that you're looking here, whether it's for AQS, air quality surveys, weather, uh, weather prediction centers, or calls for service from the Durham Police Department so we can turn this tabular data into the spatial data that you see here.